What's cracking everybody? New video. So you guys see the, the thumbnail, you guys see the title, right? Um, but this video is going to be a little bit different. As you watch it, you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, I told you guys I was going to do this on my other channel, and that's because I wanted to, um, I actually wanted to play some of the homies music. Um, one of my favorite songs is actually by him called No Fear. Uh, I don't know why, I don't know what happened, Conejo, between you and Amazon Music, but I used to have it on my playlist on Amazon Music, and it's no longer available on Amazon Music, but um, those of you that don't know the song already, do me a favor, go to Spotify, go wherever he can make money, and check out that song called No Fear, and check out everything else he's got, you know, Conejo's been around a long time. Um, and as you watch the video, hopefully you enjoy, um, hopefully you just enjoy the video, man. Um, I had, uh, I enjoyed, uh, researching him. This is the first time I really, you know, sat down and said, let me research somebody and really try to do, uh, do them some justice. And I'm sure I didn't, but I did what I could and, you know, um, you guys know that's just me. I'm going to do what I can and, and try to give you guys the best that I can. Um, if you do like the video, please uh, hit the like button. Uh, leave a comment. Share it. Um, let's blow this one up because as you see and as I've been complaining, I know I've been complaining, um, but YouTube has been wrecking me lately. You know, um, I don't know what to do about it, you know. The Charleston White video, I wound up taking it down because of what they did. It is going back up. For those of you that saw it already, I apologize if you get the notification and see it again. But I got to do what I got to do. Um, I am going to be doing some more stuff um, on the other channel. I do want to do, I still do want to do something on at least the No Fear song by Cornejo. Um you guys, you guys got to let me know what else you want me to do. Um, the second channel, for those of you that don't know, it's D-U-B-E-S-S, -S, Dub S. Um, that's the name of my second channel. I do more reaction stuff over there. I do. I have posted some of my really old stuff from this channel that people haven't seen. So I throw it over there so it's new to people so they get an understanding of who I am and um what i'm trying to do with the with with this channel really you know but, but really with both man you know um i know that the life that i lived um due to the unfortunate decisions the horrible decisions that i made i lived a life where um i got to see um people at their worst but also at their best imagine that right but it has given me a unique perspective on life and on people um, I know that right now I'm rambling and you, you know, believe me, the better part of the video is when I get off this fucking thing. <laughs> this video ain't about me, man. It's me, um, giving credit to a legend, a, a complete success story. And I think, um, that is really the main, um, the driving force behind this video is I wanted to show a fucking success story. You know, somebody who, you know, um, went from packing guns and, and, you know, busting guns to um, being in, in Hollywood movies, you know, being on a TV show, being able to sell out venues everywhere he goes, being able to see the world, you know. Imagine he fought his case, you know, he went on the run for well over a decade and then sat in the county and fought his case for two years. You know, you get in the county jail. Once you get behind the walls, there's no promise that you're going to get out. There's no promise that you won't pick up another case. There's no promise you may not, you may not have to kill somebody behind those walls. So imagine being behind those walls for those two years and knowing you are already a successful rap person, you know, a rapper, an artist. And, and it was it was all. It could all be taken away and you're given the second opportunity and, and he hasn't let go. You know what I'm saying? He's he's uh anyways, man, I've been I've been rambling long enough, man. Watch the video, 
go ahead and check out his music if you're not already hit man look him up go to spotify wherever the streaming is you know i don't know that part um, but wherever it is and the homie can get some feria from it help him out because uh it's a great story man so with that i say my regular tagline at the end the regular regular closing so for from this point on enjoy the rest of the video leave a comment like share and subscribe i appreciate you man i'm out Los Angeles, California, a.k.a. the City of Angels. Shit. I say the city of dreamers, hustlers, and killers. Looking at this skyline, you might get distracted by the bright lights of the city. But let's take a closer look into the belly of the beast and find one of its hidden gems. Not just the diamond in the rough. Not just a ghetto success story, but a motherfucking American success story. Ah, uh, there it is. Where this story really begins. Welcome to Harpies. And look at this young man. The little thug who would grow into a king. But we'll get to that. In the late 1980s, Conejo began rapping, painting a picture of his reality for others to understand, while also creating that gangster soundtrack for those caught up in the life, as well as those who were just fascinated by it. In the early 2000s, a tragedy struck, one which I believe was a blessing in disguise. Unfortunately, a man lost his life, and Conejo was named a suspect. For well over a decade, Conejo went on the run. I can only imagine what went through his head on a daily basis. Where do I go? Where should I stay? Who can I trust? Who's going to give me up? I'm sure those questions were a big part of his daily thought process and also created the foundation of the successful man we see before us now. Conejo was apprehended in 2016, fought his case, and was released in 2018. Since his release, Conejo has not wasted this second chance that he was given. Not only is he a successful rap star, selling out just about any venue he goes to, but he is also an actor and a lightweight fashion mogul. That's right. It is estimated that Mr. Cornejo is a multi-millionaire. Is he? Shit, I don't know. I ain't pocket watching the homie like that. However, I do believe he is richer than maybe he even imagines. Like I said earlier, the little thug grew up to be a king. I did this today. I decided I wanted to do this story today because this is a success story. This is every little gangster Every raza who's in a dysfunctional home, who thinks he's on his own, that nobody understands, that there's not another way, shit. Look at Conejo. That's success. You know, I try to show success on my podcast and my, uh, on my channel, but... Shit, I'm just a squirrel trying to get a nut. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully you're able to pick up on the lesson of what this really is about. And uh, hopefully you, you will make the right decisions in your life. All right. So as always, stay safe, stay smart. 
and tell the ones you love that you love them. I'm out.